Today, we're gonna fix a leaky tap. It's the Frank something. So, it's been doing my absolute nothing. So, let's get to changing it. As you can see, it is just dripping. So we'll need to get a bit and there's a bit under here to unscrew it. The tap's a bit loose anyway, so we'll need to tighten it. And make sure you plug out your sink just in case the screw comes out. I think it's a T8 bit underneath here. We'll need to unscrew. As you can see, it's loose already. So we'll turn the water off and try and unscrew it. Ours is easy to access under the sink. So we'll turn the water off. Should be enough. Make our way back up. Close that for a minute. Get the rest of the water out. As you can see, we we'll just let it drain. I got my T8 bit. I don't know if focus. As you can see, that's the type of bit you'll need. I recommend having something that you can reach around with. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it. So let's have a go. As you can see, you get the little screw bit out. You don't have to take it all away, but I just thought I'd bring it out to show you. Now we will see the cartridge when I can get that out. I've got a 14 spanner and we'll take the cartridge out. As you can see, we've got it out. We've got to take off, if it can focus. Anyway, if you guys can see it, it's that ring. We'll take that off. Oh, don't lose it. That bit off first. As you can see, we've got to take this bit out as well. It's not looking the cleanest, so hopefully you clean it up and everything should be alright. So we'll get this bit out. Should come up easy enough. Like that. And as you can see the inside. That's the way it goes, so as you can see... There's little grooves for where it is. So we'll take that out. It's not looking the cleanest. So we'll hopefully tidy that up. Doesn't look too bad actually. We'll put it in some bicarbon white vinegar and see how it goes it doesn't look too bad no lime scale as i can see but there is a bit dirty in the middle down here 
So hopefully it gets to that. And hopefully it will sort the problem. So we've got the white vinegar. We'll soak it in. And we'll put some bicarb in there. And hopefully it will solve the problem. As we don't have any anti-lime scale stuff, we decided to the white vinegar and bicarbonate soda and we're going to leave it for about 20 minutes I suppose a half an hour so hopefully that will solve it so it's picked up some bits I don't know if you can see on camera but around down the side here I put the ta actual tap in there just to make sure that's all clean so now we'll stick it all back together and hopefully it should work. And as you can see, we'll put it back together again. So we'll start off with this. This one goes in on the groove as you can see in there. There you go. And that should go the grooves either side on like that and just before just before we put it back just make sure when you twist it is it fully closed because sometimes that could be a problem and then we'll put this on and the seal here could be worn So, there we go. So, oh, and don't forget this little bit. There you go. And we'll put it back into the tap. Just a quick pointer, we'll clean inside of here first, just to make sure there's no debris or anything in there. With a sonic scrubber. All I'm doing is dipping it in back in the vinegar and by carb of soda. Soda. <laughs> Just make sure. We try and get everything. Tighten back that back up. That's tight. Make sure it's all there. We'll put the tap back on, make sure you put it on straight. Is it looking lined? Might be a little bit off. It's too far. Try that. We'll put that back on. Tighten it up.
the easiest of angles. I haven't really got the right tool for it. No, that should be enough. And we'll turn the water back on and hopefully, hopefully it's not dripping. And there you go. Good job.